It's time for Top Dad Trade. Joining us, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with our trader game, Top Dad Trade. Round number one, corn fuel. The president is proposing year-round ethanol. Will that pop corn? E15. 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 It, it a, a chicken in every pot, a co corn in every pot, essentially, is what this mentality is here. I, 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 don't really I think, think this so. could be a catalyst. Uh, the be. corn has bottomed out. It made new lows at 340, but it's really been trading between 350 and 390 since June. And in the big picture, trading between 3 and $4 for the past couple of years. So I think this could be a catalyst. This is good. This ethanol uh, is, is good. Uh, I don't know for what, though. But the problem is is that you don't have enough gas stations that have E15 pumps in there right now. Or so if you have an old car. A time. Or if you have an old car. I've got a 2006. Or if you have a lawnmower, don't put E15 in it. You'll ruin the lawnmower. No. So the, the problem, this is a problem. Process, I think it's a step in the right direction, but I'll tell you, U.S. refining stocks do not like this, but I don't think they're too worried because before this will have a real impact on the corn crop, but it'll be a few years down the road. But I do like one ethanol stop, if you want. Green Plains! Green Plains is a stock that you're going to love on this ethanol play. Oh, you're going to love the next one. Round number two, bangs or bangs. The bangs contain names such as Newmont Mining and Gold Stocks. The fangs, of course, are Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. What's the better buy? Or metals. Or metals. Right. Metals. Go for the bangs. Are bang. fangs going to bounce? That's the question. I think the, the fangs can bounce. I mean, which is kind of counterintuitive because you don't think metals bounce, but they can, especially if there's a soft metal. All right. I want people to pay attention that the dollar has pay not made new no, highs, even though interest no rates highs, continue to rise. So no that highs. could be a, a very negative Catalyst. sign for the dollar, and that yeah. would be helpful to the metals. I've been be saying that for months, though. Right, exactly. Well, listen, you know, the bottom line eventually. is from a history. Right, eventually. This is an eventually play. You don't want to put all your money into the bank stocks, but you should have some exposure. We had a rough week on the stock market, a rough couple of days. Why? They're worried about inflation. Round number three, scavenger sale. It's reported there are five retailers that could have a Sears-like slide. Would you rescue any of those retailers? So I'm looking at the approach of how to go after these stocks. I wouldn't be buying the stocks. I'd be selling put options as a way to get into the stocks at a lower level. If you want to buy the shares, that's a strategy to use because they all have very high volatility. Not to say they couldn't go down, but be aware they can go to zero with these stocks. But if you're buying a stock that's $5 and you're taking it a dollar to sell the, the you know, to buy then it cheaper. Then, then your risk is from $4, you're lower your cost basis. But looking at these stocks, right. I don't like personally container store. I hate that store. It gives me, Drives me it gives me anxiety. Well, because, because it's about organization, right? Because right. it's about organization. But looking at that stock, it's moved from five to ten dollars. I think that one has the best chart. Okay. Abercrombie and Fitch, actually, um, I think could have a revival. It did rally from ten to thirty, and now we're at the twenty dollar level. That may have, you know, it's found a its bottom. It's a brand. But I don't even know Bonton. That's the, Bonton Tellers. No, I would that's, stay away that from that. Was, that was Barnes and that's, Noble. That's, that's, that's almost a, like a Sears. I thought Barnes and Noble was supposed to go out of business like ten years ago. It, well, it, they've it survived. They the the survived. fact is that they're still yeah. alive. On to your bonus round question for today: Can you name the restaurant chain that is resorting to scratch and sniff? to boost sales? Well, I can eliminate McDonald's because I'm there every day, three times a day to get my iced tea, and the answer is no. I'm going to eliminate uh, Chipotle because there's nothing there. So that I'm, I'm good at multiple choice I, tests. Let's go with Burger King. Okay, Home Burger King. Whopper. Burger King. There you go. The answer was Chipotle. The house wins today. Oh, man. Come on. Seriously. Thanks for being on the show. Business First AM continues right after this.